So, uh, I kind of want to fix the AI a little bit because it had some weird issues where we weren't able to, to use all the animations that we wanted on this guy. Like some of the animations were being overwritten. Example A is like this animation doesn't even play. Okay, so let's see why the hell that is happening. I'm going to go under my AI controller and the first thing I'm going to do is find where all the crossfades are happening. It should be only here. And it is. Okay, now when we're saying plain target animation, as you can see, we are already using all of this. So one thing to try first to say if is interacting, return. And actually not this interacting, that's the wrong interacting. We kind of want to know in here, this interacting. Okay, so let's rename a few things to be interacting. Okay, and as you can see, we were having the wrong one. We need to know if is interacting, first of all. Okay. No, actually, I'm just going to say that the bug.log play target. And I'm going to be checking. I think if we do is interacting return, that will work, but we won't be able to to basically interrupt his other animation. So if he's attacking and I'm trying to do a backstab, that's going to be a problem because you are not going to be able to backstab him. Okay, well, you will, but he's not going to play the animation. So that's why I'm not using this one. So I think we need to tweak it a little bit differently first. Okay. Now it's going to get a little bit annoying to try and getting the sword first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a terrible way he's playing these animations. So let's see why that is. That will be damage. Like he's not even playing this damage at all. So let's say play the target animation. Give me that. So I know which animation you're playing. Maybe it's the crossfade. We'll see. Maybe not. Don't see anything else that could be affecting that controller. So let's see. Hit from front, attack two, what was that? Hit from front, is this working? This is working and again you see that he's just stuck in there. I don't understand it. Hmm. So let's see, where are we actually using the interaction? The interaction only happens in here. Yeah, so you have your movements. Removing those two. 
I was going. Okay, we're closing the agent. And then we just, we are always taking the animator delta position by and multiply that by movement speed in any of these case. So let's say we ignore these two for now. Like on paper, it seems that it should that shouldn't be a problem. I'm also going to change on my controller. I'm going to change the firecaster to the great sword. So we don't have to go and, and pick up the sword anymore. I think it's uh, because it's not, maybe it is so that since yeah, no. What on earth? We'll see. Okay, he's stuck there. So let's take a look at, at his animator. The animator is stuck inside hit from. Hit from from this uh, actually never playing. It's stuck on the first and uh, yeah, it's it's basically just stuck on the first frame. But why? Okay, here's uh, one thing we can try instead of crossfade. Let's say we do crossfade in fixed time. Okay. So this is probably going to override any animation we're seeing there. So instead of using delta, it should be just use real seconds and fix that issue. Okay, he should be playing that animation all the time. And true enough, that's what's happening. And that's always happening. Okay, so maybe it had to do with this. I don't actually know. But since we didn't change anything on that, I'm just simply going to leave this below over here. So let's, oops, yeah, no. Notice, I'm just going to leave this at normal. And I'm going to switch this to always animate because you do want all your your player, your enemies to be always animating even if they are uh, not watched by you. Okay, we're going to be using Cal for other stuff but not for when we are we have them so close to us. Okay, and I think that is that pretty much fixed that issue because I don't see him doing anything that he shouldn't be doing. Yeah, the animations seem to be playing normally except for this, which that had to do with the lines we removed okay so bringing those two back let's play test this some more which is fine we should be play testing not just only writing you know code when will yeah it does seem fine Ignore the get last taxon error. We're going to find it. We're going to fix it. And I think. Do, do, do. Yeah, we should probably do something about these cases. Like he's moving, but 
He's moving on a straight line to us. That could have been from the error he got, however. Awesome. So, you know what? Let's check the, what this error is. Which, of course, what kind of snapshot damage? Okay. If our current snapshot is null, then should that be returning null? It should. Okay, because there is no last action, but we should see what this is doing. Return last action, get action container. On the damage builds, yeah, okay. On on damage. Dun, dun, dun. Damage build on damage on the controller if action this will be a problem so let's not do it this way let's go back so let's not return null we're simply going to return empty values let's find the error from here again it was AI controller 381 that's where the error came from but it's over here okay so if current snapshot is not null then add all those otherwise just ignore it which means this is going to be false this is going to be zero this might be a problem so let's see where this is used when trying to play an animation but since this is going to be false it's never going to be used so that's all we have to do in this case so I think we can test this with the death animation as well for the AI controller let's see we are using the play target animation so that means that's going to work Let's see how much health we have added to this guy. A lot. I'm going to switch it to one. And let's see if he's going to give us the ragdoll or the death in this case. Yeah, he's given us both. So we need to fix, we need to change a little bit. where they when the event is getting cast so that is damage three let's see yeah we kind of want him to do this okay so damage three open this up animation just move this ah come on mm -hmm. frame 20 Let's see where is 20 down there let's move that down there and true enough it does play the entire animation anymore okay now I'm I still don't know why we got it in the first place why do we have to use the fixed time to be able to play the entire animations uh, correctly but it doesn't matter we have a fix so that's okay so that's it for this part as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series then of course consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time